Here is a little EMP device also known as electromagnetic pulse. If you're a gamer like me, you wouldn't forget that one EMP device from Modern Warfare 2 and Battlefield 4. It was crazy on how that EMP could do to electronics. In this video, I am gonna teach you how to make an EMP device. Well, it's a weak EMP device. However, it will cause harm to small electronic devices that are not shielded by metal sheets. Warning, the instructions from this video is for educational purpose only. It is highly recommended that you do not use this knowledge for illegal purposes. To begin, you will need a voltage booster. This will boost 3.7 volts to 400,000 volts. A push button switch. A 3 pin female connector and 2 metal pins. This will be our spark gap. 2 AAA battery holder. You can salvage those from cheap dollar store flashlights. I use two of them to increase the capacity when connected in parallel. Some wires with different colors. You can salvage those from old power supplies. Magnet wire. You can salvage those from old electronics. 6 AAA alkaline batteries. An empty plastic water bottle. Make sure the bottle is dry. Solder a wire to the positive end and solder a different color wire to the negative end. Repeat the process with the other battery holder. It should look like this. Now use a drill that matches the size of your switch and drill a hole on top of the cab. Try to fit the switch in nice and tight and screw the nut back onto the switch. Here's how it should look like. Now, carefully cut a door shape out, however, do not cut it all out completely. It should look like this, just like a door. Now, connect the batteries in parallel, from negative to negative and positive to positive. This will increase the capacity. Connect one of the switch wires to the positive end of the batteries. Then secure the electrical tape. Connect the other wire leading from the switch to the positive wire from the vote booster. Then repeat the process with the negative side of the wire. Now you may test out the spark from the booster. Please be extremely careful when testing out sparks. We are handling high voltage after all. Connect one side of the wires from the spark gap to one of the booster output wires. Then burn the ends of the magnet wire to remove the coatings. Now connect both ends of the magnet wires to the wires leading from the spark gap and the booster output. You should get something like this once you're done connecting those wires. Now put everything into the bottle. Secure the coil with electrical tape. Now, despite the spark gap is inside a plastic bottle, it is still dangerous to have it all exposed. My solution is cutting a small hose and place it on a spark gap to reduce the risk. And this is how you make an EMP device. Here's a naked EMP3 player, and it's history. Here's a dollar store calculator, and it also went history. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.